Joey from JLD Travels actually doing my second reaction video today because uh, a new video has come out by uh, a YouTuber that I watch called Rebeauty and it involves um, a questionable figure, uh, Andrew Tate and her perspective and uh, we're going to jump right in, have a little ganders, uh, I'm going to chuck up my thoughts of what I think uh, about this whole situation with Andrew Tate getting uh, apparently arrested and we're going to jump right in, here we go. Andrew Tate, the villain, the punisher of feminists, a misogynist, a dangerous man, or not. You know, his ego is super high, his pride is super high, his, um, his arrogance is, is overflowing. When I saw the first videos about him, I, I feel so disgusted about how he, desc how he described women. These are the kind of people Filipinos don't like to deal with, to be honest. I need to disagree with him saying that women are incompetent. Hey, it's Mira Beauty. In today's episode, it's hard exploding to me. Because I have a lot of things in my mind about this topic. But first, let me tell you why am I making a reaction about Andrew Tate? Some people making a video about him getting demonetized. First of all, I just came across one video discussing why Andrew Tate is cancelled. And because I'm a curious person and I want to get a little bit involved, I watched this video and another 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 video. And, another video. and finally, I understood why he got cancelled and why I think he makes sense. I've been thinking with my genius mind. It's an amazing thing that happens, like, use my amazing, super powerful mind. You know, his ego is super high, his pride is super high. His, um, his arrogance is, is overflowing. That's the only thing that I see that's so negative. I, I feel the negative aura. <laughs> I, feel, I feel this negative vibe coming out of his arrogance. That's the thing. But I think that's part of his personality. Oh, call it arrogance. Women are incompetent. We all know that. Women can't do anything. As soon as I needed police help and two women turned off, I knew the game was I knew they were useless. Of course they are. The women. The problem, the problem here is I don't even know the context of what he is talking about there. But they highlighted the part where he said that women are useless because if it's women, then it's nothing. I mean, yeah, and I don't agree with in, him uh, using that line, word. Uh, I personally believe in gender roles. But I need to and disagree with him saying that women are forward. incompetent. Incompetent means not having or showing the necessary skills to do something successfully. There are things that women can do that men cannot do and of course vice versa. If only we stick to our instincts, then there's no need for competition. But modern feminism has changed the system totally. Now everyone is confused. Women sleep with lots and lots and lots of men has never been celebrated ever. Besides, in the last 40 years in the West, in a degrading society. Well, yeah, okay, cool. But if you're gonna look at it traditionally, traditionally women were not supposed to act that way. And I don't think women want to act that way anyway. I don't think women intrinsically want to fuck a load bunch of people. I don't think you I don't, know what I don't want. See if women knew what you, men you wanted to any see. any man you wanted. I see chicks out here going, I can't get a good man. Then you're a dumbass, because it ain't hard. Let's start with the basics. Stop dancing in clubs. You think it looks sexy, it ain't sexy. We don't want to see you twerking. We don't want to see you dancing. Men don't like those outlandish women. You being out there on the, on the dance floor in front of 5,000 men, overconfident, shaking your ass, is not the kind of thing a man wants to see. We don't want to see that. The more confident you are in those scenarios, the least attractive we are to you. Uh, yeah, it's true. I, I agree with that. Um, women nowadays believe that when they look sexy, when they are getting much attention from, from people, from, from not only from men, but from people in general, then they think that their uh, value is leveling up <laughs> like they're they automatically think that they they are high value they think they're important just because they get a lot of likes just because they get a lot of followers just because they get a lot of people watching them i think we have a generation of confused girls yeah just gonna quickly stop it there because li literally what andrew tate would go on about in a vast majority of the stuff i've seen of him he, he's not wrong. This is literally part of the reason why so many men are going abroad looking 
for a life partner, for love and for marriage and for everything else from these East Asian countries like the Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam, South Korea, Japan and these sort of uh, countries because of how the society is so traditional that obviously they don't want to bring up their children in a in a way where when they've grown up that they just get like like they were saying going into clubs and doing that whole silly twerking nonsense and thinking that just because they can do this in in front of a bunch of guys and some uh guys that are not looking with the right intentions should we say and they're craving this attention and it's the wrong kind of attention and this is quite a lot of the reason why I went to look abroad and I found someone I know that she's not going to go to a club where there's loads of other guys around and start making herself look really really uh, attractive dressing really nicely putting her makeup on and doing everything else because I know she's loyal to me and she wouldn't do something like that I would say this is just one of the results of this modern feminism where Mm -hmm. they tell women to sleep around flaunt their naked bodies while twerking on social media is okay my body my rule because that is empowering right how is it empowering who is enjoying looking at your twerking video men how does that empower you i thought you don't want men to win but you're letting them win i forgot this is not a competition what they don't see is they are breeding a generation of men that see women as a cheap commodity and then they start asking what happened to men where did all the good men go they are doing more damage to women because that is what the younger generation is seeing nowadays and that is becoming this young people's standards and so the cycle of creating a generation of men who don't respect women anymore goes on and on and on all their agendas or these movements do nothing but backfire I, I love women. I have nothing against women at all. I'm not sexist in any regard. I'm not misogynist either. I'm a, I'm a realist because I say the truth. Which is? Women can't fight. Men are stronger. <laughs> like based more true things. I I think another thing I said is I said, and, and maybe I'll upset the ladies on the podcast. I hope not. But please correct me if I'm wrong. Probably will. I said if I were to get on a plane and I were to, that plane was to fly into the eye of a hurricane, there was a 50% chance of it crashing. I'd want a male pilot because I think that males are better under stress and under pressure. I think they're less likely to get emotional in the, in the in a life or death situation. Mm-hmm. That's why they make better soldiers. And that doesn't mean I'm mis- that doesn't make me a misogynist. That doesn't make me sexist. That's just true. Women are better at other things than men. And I'll sit here and say women are better at X. But I will say that men are better at Y. I'm not going to sit and pretend that that we're all the same. We're not under pressure. When your life is on the line, anyone with a, anyone who's honest would want a male pilot in said situation. You would not want a female pilot. So I would choose the man. For the same reason, I would choose women to do other things. Let me give you another example then, Dave, if gender roles aren't real. I said that he makes a lot of sense because yeah. what he, is he saying is the basic principle of human life. Gender role is basic principle that a lot of people nowadays are having a hard time understanding. I, I mean, we can attempt to, we can purport that, we can attempt to, to label me without all we want. I'm happy to discuss that. I absolutely not really love women. I have nothing against women. I believe women are the most precious things on the planet. They create life. They should be protected. They should be provided for. I would never let a woman pay for a bill. I would never let a woman, uh, if someone touched any of my women, I would stand up against 10 men by myself and risk my life to protect her. I believe that women are beautiful creatures. I just don't think that they're as emotionally calm as men in stressful situations. I don't think they can fight like a man can. And for the same reason, I would never drop my children in an all male nursery. I think that's strange and weird. I would only drop them in an all female nursery. Women do certain things and men do certain things. And we live in a world now where the yeah, whole idea I, of the roles totally has been agree. conflated to the fact where if I come along and say women are better with children and men are better at fighting, that I'm somehow fucking sexist when it's clearly true. There's nothing wrong with stating the facts it's the truth i don't have a problem with equality having equal opportunities and equal rights is a no-brainer but that is not what modern feminism is about right in the philippines women already achieved this equality and we stopped there there there's a boundary here just uh, equality is until here but beyond that, it's going to destroy everything. We stop there the and there is no problem. Now, if you change one I mean, variable in a system of dating, then the whole system will change. Since modern women are already 
cultivating the the masculine trait of men in them men in return no longer want to be men anymore no longer want to protect no longer want to provide no longer want to um to lead no longer want to respect it's so confusing and it's it's really chaotic the society is really in chaos right now i'm afraid soon it will be the same here once they say that okay we already have divorce in the philippines and then uh next thing you will know is that women is also fighting for this right for this law that's what happened in the west right things will follow if you use your head instead of your heart and you look at the advantages to getting married there are absolutely not really none because this new idea of new age feminism just basically destroys all men in the idea or in the event of her leaving it's just really so sad that in western countries divorce are being used as business i've heard a lot of stories that um women are marrying like five times six times because yeah, they okay. need someone to take care of them to provide for them and they're making it as but a business uh, because in most cases of divorce in the west a woman takes everything the property the house the, the i don't know the car the children everything and then they marry another one and then they, they divorce again and will do the same thing and then they marry another one and then divorce again and do the same thing divorce is in favor of women and it's true that men has zero power zero advantage when it comes to marriage as a result men don't want to commit anymore men don't want to get married anymore because what because they are traumatized of these societal issues they are afraid they're scared of what could happen to them because no one's protecting them they said this law is for equal rights is for equal opportunities but no it's in favor of one side only i can see how how it's so unfair in the west and i really really hope that that doesn't happen here but like i said there are foreigners who are coming here and who are looking for traditional women and but at the same time they're also looking for a working woman a traditional woman at the same time a working woman but they don't even want to marry them here in the philippines at least in my generation we never see the traditional values as oppressive yes it's true there are some situations where men have more advantages like for example in certain industries like engineering or architecture most companies would appoint a man to go on the field to inspect or supervise on the other hand women stay in the office most women want to have the same opportunity because we believe that the field or the construction site is where the real knowledge is we want to learn in the actual construction. The reason why the bosses make the women stay in the office is because they value women and they know that women are important to the society as mothers or future mothers and wives. They play an important role to the society, but they don't assign them to go to the site, not because they think we cannot do the job. Well, apart from in some cases men are really smarter in this field i would agree with that because you know construction is like one of men's natural talent i would say but it's not like that in most cases the reason the real reason why women are always assigned to do office work is because it's hot in the site it's dusty and dirty and they might injure themselves and it is a lot of hassle for a woman. We don't see it as labeling women as weak or it's insulting that men have to protect women. No, we don't think that way. They protect women because they value them. I don't understand why in the West they see it as degrading or insulting. Why do you see women's job as not important or degrading? I don't see why they want men to stay at home and do the nursing and women go work. Here in the Philippines, we see it as noble. Being a mother, being a wife is noble. We like to nurture our children and the husband provides. Not because we are lazy and incompetent. We also want to work, trust me. But we are gonna choose to nurture our children ourselves. Let's just take a look of this study conducted by ISSP Family and Changing Gender Role Survey and World Value Survey in the Philippines. 75% of male and 80% of female respondents agree that man's job is to earn money and a woman's job is to take care of the family and home. Yeah. 
More than 70% of men and 76% of women believe that the emotional and the psychosocial development skills of a preschool child suffers with a mother working outside the home. Moreover, willingness to use childcare services is limited, with over 95% of both men and women believing that childcare should be provided by we family members. We love to become successful and make money too, to be a career woman like the women in the West. But we would rather choose to be a good mother and wife. No matter where you've been, mm -hmm. or whatever amazing things you've done, or what expensive cars you've been in, etc., shut up. Because when you talk about those things, all you're really saying is some other dude. When you sit there and talk about the time you went to Thailand for three months, and I was in Thailand and the monkeys and the elephants, and I was in Thailand, da, da, the man sitting there listening to you, but all he's thinking is what dude was fucking her in Thailand? Some dude, what, some some Thai dude or some foreign dude or was she part of a sex ring or was she like, like what was she doing? Like she used to talk about freedom and finding herself and finding her spirit. How naked was she? Like was she naked all the time? Like sex day and night? Like we're sitting there analyzing as you're telling your story about the time the monkey touched a banana, and we're just sitting there thinking she is a hoe. <laughs> For sure, Andrew is exaggerating some things. A woman who traveled to a lot of places doesn't automatically mean she's a hoe. It depends on what location you met this girl. If it's the Philippines, I don't think that would be the case. Been to many places, she's a hoe. Home person, attractive. Sure, there are also women here who have been to many places and yeah, that, that that's one of the few things that I don't uh, agree with what I've seen Andrew Tate say before, because I have seen him say, uh, seen that portion of that interview that he was doing there. Not all women are like that. A lot of them are from the West, but if they're from East Asia, I can pro most likely guarantee that the vast majority of them are not like that. And slept around but I know much more women who travel who live in other countries travel around Europe and they don't go on dates yes it's hard to believe it but they exist I think he sounds really stupid probably stop making videos for everybody to see he's a disgusting human being I don't like men that think they get to boss women around the thing is women are hating this man Andrew Tate because he's too arrogant his words are harsh Regardless, he's speaking the truth or he's making sense or not. He could have changed the way he speaks or changed the words he uses into more sensible words so he can make the people listen. You know, when someone speaks like this, you don't want to listen to them, especially if you're not someone who can no, tolerate or keep up with a person with a strong, strong personality. Person His approach is to fears, which is why women don't even want to listen to him. They automatically say he's misogynist, which I don't think he is at all. Because what is he saying is just basic. They couldn't grasp it. He has a point in everything that he says. He's right about everything he says. I think of a man is uh sexual is not sexually exclusive it's not the same as if a woman is because with a woman you have the paternity issue with a man you don't have a paternity issue if i have three girlfriends and, and they all get pregnant we know who the mother and who the father is if you have one woman and three men you don't know who even the parents are if she got pregnant yeah you could definitely figure that out dna tests are pretty accessible nowadays of course yeah that's exactly it so i said science can step in and fix it but that doesn't mean it's not Haram and against the will of God. Look, read the Bible. Every single man had multiple wives. Not a single woman had multiple husbands. It's against the will of God. It's disgusting. In the eyes of God himself. Did he just mention Bible? What happened to thou shall not commit adultery then? Just saying. But the way he says things are just awful most of the time. These are the kind of people Filipinos don't like to deal with, to be honest. Strong personality, straightforward, confrontational. Yeah, Filipinos avoid this kind of people. What would you do if I wanted to start an OnlyFans? I don't think there's anything intrinsically wrong with women doing OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. As long as I had influence and control over it. What do you mean? Doing a video photographer to get the angles, yeah? No, 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 no. I'm not doing any real work, but just like taking all the money. If my chick said, I want to do OnlyFans, I'm like, all right, then cool, go do it. How much you made? 10 grand? All right, give me eight. All right, cool. All right. Why would, what woman is going to give you eight grand? You're my woman, you're doing OnlyFans. You're selling my product. What the fuck? Your product. Yes, you correct. Just, just Next question. Person. No. See, I don't know if you're being serious. I'm totally serious. How would I let my chick do OnlyFans and keep all the money? That's disrespectful. What woman is ever going to give you that? Then she better not do OnlyFans. Duh. <laughs> I 
I don't know why is that even a question. Are there any women really asking that question to their partners? I mean, a girl doing OnlyFans yeah, is yeah, delusional to think there is someone out there who's gonna respect her, let alone take her as a wife. At the very beginning, when I saw yeah, no, the first video about him, I, I feel so disgusted about how he how he described women. Uh, and then later on, after watching a couple videos of him, I started to like understand him better. And I realized that he's just being sarcastic most of the time. The words he uses are so harsh, it's brutal. His approach is so fierce. They don't want to accept what he's saying. What he's saying is truth, but he masks it with harsh words, you know? And that is what people don't see. That is for me, that is mm. what I... Uh, that is my conclusions. I mean, there are people who don't know him but hates him. They don't even know what is he talking about, what is he advocating, what is, he, what is his message. Do you know who Andrew Tate is? Uh, yeah. Do you like him? No. Why? Why are you asking me that? No, I'm just, I just want to hear your opinion on it. Okay, why? Yeah, so why don't you like him? Why are you asking? Just wondering. This is literally my point. The MPT okay. But they automatically hate him. Right, she, she of course, because of him, social media, you know. The influence of social media is really, really like toxic. Him. And if you are weak, you have a weak mind, yeah, you'll get caught up. That is all for today, guys. If you agree with me, like this video and let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts. And also subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. See you on the next one. Bye! Yeah, wow. That was definitely a, a different take on Andrew Tate. Some bits of what she said I didn't agree with, but then some things he comes out with I don't overly agree with either. But in the grand scheme of things is that he gets highly misinterpreted and like with that last clip, that we just saw before uh, this just finished where that girl was being asked a simple question do you know who Andrew Tate is? yes do you like him? no why? why are you asking? it's like you, you, you hate someone but yet you can't give an answer to why and this is Probably the worst place to go is going onto a college or uni campus in the States because of how so many, quite a lot of women there are very feminist pushed because of the professors that are teaching them, uh, uh forcing and pushing their ide ideology on these women and making them think that this whole feminism stuff is great for them. It's all about equality and everything else when it's not. All it promotes is hating men, finding reasons to hate men, and make up this whole myth of a gender pay gap and that there's this weird patriarchy system and all this nonsense when none of that stuff's there. On the grounds when it comes to the gender pay gap, you look at um specific industries because when it tries to push this whole gender pay gap it's not broad in its reach of all the different industries and then breaking it down into simple things it's looking at a very small piece of it and then saying oh that small piece of it makes the whole thing a gender pay gap and it's completely a myth and to be honest I can't wait to be moved out of the out of the west and to be living in the Philippines with my partner and to be completely clear gone of that I don't have time for social media like Facebook, Twitter, TikTok and all that sort of uh, stuff but yeah it was definitely interesting to watch but if you like what you saw and like to see more please drop us a like and a comment down below if there's anything you want me to check out and I'll check it out and also hit the, hit the subscribe button and I'll be leaving links down below for uh, this video and uh, a link to her to subscribe to her channel. And I uh, look forward to the next video. And thank you very much for watching. 
and I've been Joey from JLD, JLD Travels. Bye-bye for now.